Diagnostic capabilities are among the key features which, more than others, determine the success of a field bus technology. EtherCAT provides outstanding diagnostic functionalities, the most important of which are natively supported by all slave devices, either directly at hardware level in the EtherCAT communication chip or in all software stacks as part of the state machine management. Each EtherCAT node provides cyclic and acyclic diagnostic information, the latter implemented both at the hardware and software levels. The cyclic diagnostic information is represented by the working counter mechanism. In case the received working counter value differs from the expected one, the master discards the input data and does not forward them to the control application. At the hardware level, each EtherCAT slave communication chip is able to detect an interruption in the physical medium with a neighboring device and to increment a corresponding link lost error counter. Furthermore, the master can read the error counters of each connected device via acyclic frames in order to precisely locate where the error was detected for the first time. An error at the application level in the field device, like the loss of synchronization or the expiration of the watchdog for the cyclic data, causes a state transition in the slave state machine. By reading the status code corresponding to the unexpected transition written by the slave device in a conventional register, the control can determine the cause of the state transition itself. The EtherCAT master can scan the actual network and compare it to the expected configuration during boot-up, detecting cabling errors or malfunctioning devices in this way. As standard Ethernet frames are used, the EtherCAT communication can be traced using standard software, like Wireshark. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to learn more about EtherCAT, visit our website ethercat.org or send an email to info at ethercat.org.